I got a video I need y'all to see, man. This is this is interesting right here, bro. This is uh this is funny, man. So I mean, I mean, I'm gonna play it right now. Ooh we. If you are a producer, there's no way I'm giving you 50% of my record. You are out of your mind, and here's why. You're not spending money to promote the song. Not spending money to market it. Not spending money to shoot a music video. You didn't spend money on studio time. And unless you have a big name, your name is not bigger than mine. So there is absolutely no way that I'm splitting this record with you 50-50 when I'm doing all the work to promote it and make sure people hear it. What I believe is appropriate for producers, depending on how much work they did, is anywhere between 10 and 20%. Producers, if you disagree, go ahead and let me know why. But first, think about it and get out your feelings. <laughs> Yo. First thing, first bro, y'all gotta like the video. Uh, I know you ain't like that video, like this video, you feel what I'm saying, like this one. All right, first things first, bro. It's crazy because it's a lot of artists out here that's just like him, though. It's a lot of, he's not the only one, right? And the funny thing is, though, like, they really believe, like, he's serious. Like, he really believe that. He really believes, as a producer, right, getting 50-50 split is ridiculous because, as the artist, he has to do the marketing and all the promotion and all this other stuff. The, ain't that what came with being an artist though? I've been I've been studying this music industry stuff for a long time. And you want as an artist, you want to blow up. The, your, your goal is to take a song and it blow up so that you have a fan base, you have people that like you, you got you got you got traffic, you got all of that now so that you can have a career, like have a real career and profit, right? I'm not supposed to get a 50-50 split for a song that I helped. I don't care what you say, you gotta do marketing wise, promotion wise, none of that. You being an artist and me being a producer, that song is a 50-50 track. I don't care what you talking about, right? There's a whole lot of other things that go into a song that, you know, a lot of other contributions that you can talk about, like the engineer and all that. But when you break it down and make it just simple for the average person who doesn't know too much about how the industry works, there's a rapper or an artist. There's an artist, then there's a beat. That's, that's it. Like, that's all they see. That's all fans really see is they, they hear a beat and they hear a person talking. You put that together, you got a song. That sounds like 50 50 to me. I don't care what you had to do. You, the artist, you supposed to do that. That's what comes with being an artist. So don't you don't get to sit here and complain that I want 50% of something that I contributed 50% of. Is you crazy, bro? <laughs> he tripping. Like what? And the funny thing is though, like I hate when I see artists complain about the work that they gotta do and they feel like they deserve, like they, they deserve something back for work that they supposed to do. You, when you signed up to become an artist, you knew what came with that, especially an independent artist, because everything he just explained are the, the, you know, that's the tactics of an independent artist. If you don't want to have to feel like you overworking yourself to the point where you got a dog, a producer out of a percentage that they deserve, then you need to get a team to do that marketing and all of that. You need to sign with somebody to do that, all of that stuff that he just named that he feels like, oh, I'm doing all of this, so you don't deserve 50% of this because you don't have to do that. Nah, I contributed 50% of this track that is getting you all these plays. And to be honest, nowadays, people don't even care about who rapping on the beat. They don't care about who's singing on the beat. They like the beat. Let's be honest, bro. But I really, I really want this video to be a message to all my producers out there, bro. Listen, stand on y'all business, bro. Don't let nobody, you know, uh, do you dirty backdoor you make you fold for something that you deserve, bro? It's that simple. I understand how it is when you coming up and you first getting placements and all that, and you will do anything for a placement. I, I do get that, and you are going to go through that if you haven't already, right? But the thing is, once you get to a certain level where you know you're in demand, where you know people want you, they want what you're making, all right? You don't got to work with artists like this boy who talking about some. If you think you're getting 50%, you're crazy. I'll give you 10 or 20. 
nah, we ain't doing business thing. That's my beat. You don't, you you ain't you ain't touching my beat then. Go find some other beats. Cause the reality is, if y'all got to the point where y'all negotiating about percentages, he liked your beat. He wanted your beat. He wanted to invest in that. But he didn't want to invest in what he thought you deserved. And if that's the case, they don't deserve you, bro. It's a hundred million artists out here. It's somebody that's going to love your beat and, and buy your beat. You got to find the right person, but do not let them dog you. But I'm telling y'all right now, bro, like if you're old 50%, which you are, then you need to take that 50%, bro. Because at the end of the day, they not paying, they, they paying for all this stuff that he talking about, but they getting more out of the song than the producers anyway. He's saying we're only old 10 or 20 because we didn't put in as much as he put in for the song but as an artist everybody knows you're getting way more back from any song than a producer is and we're not just talking about money we're talking about fame attention all of that you have a song that blows up there's gonna be people who want to work with that producer yeah but there's gonna be a lot more people who want to work with that artist that's blowing up not just other artists for features or other producers there's gonna be managers talent agents booking agents everybody's gonna want a piece of the artist because of that song and that's the problem. Historically, bro, producers do not get enough credit. So for him to sit here and say that we don't deserve 50%, that's the least y'all can give us is 50%. Because we already not going to get enough credit that y'all get for the initial song. You dig what I'm saying? Think about it like this, bro. Y'all ever listen to a song that's sampled and the artist, you know, they, they sample the, the beat is sampled, right? And they make the song or whatever. And then you hear people, you know, the casual fan listen and say, yeah, you know, that artist sampled uh, Bell Bib DeVoe or something. He fired, yo. How he know how to sample that? Whole time, you know the truth. The producer sampled that. He put that together. That might have been his idea. He did that. He sampled it and made it sound hot and made y'all like it. But we don't get the credit that y'all artists get, bro. That's simple. Everybody know that. But we don't get the credit that y'all artists get. And that's the problem. You feel what I'm saying? So the least y'all could do is give us what we owe. All right? I'm taking what I'm owed. I don't care what y'all talking about. But I want all my producers to stand up and let them know like, yo, we're not going for that, bro. I need my 50 or we not working. That's it. I need my upfront payment and I need my royalties or we not working. It's that simple. But let me know what y'all think about this topic. Let me know what y'all think about this video. In the comments, bro, I'm going to rap with y'all too and let y'all know my input. Uh, if you got any questions or anything, Put it in the comment section, somebody answer it. If it ain't me, I may not know, but somebody else in the community who watching this video might know. So put all your thoughts in the comments, bro. We gonna talk about this, but make sure y'all ain't getting dog, bro. That's it, don't get dog, bro, but I'm out, man. It ain't tripping, you feel me?